uh, this is not the first time that we've had a, a little bit of an issue uh, getting uh, the Zoom sorted out. So what we're going to do um, until we have our next guest uh, lined up for you all, I'm going to return to uh, uh, my my kind of like pet subject in between guests, which is obviously to show you the, the shows of solidarity and support that have come from individuals across the political political spectrum and uh, are just inspiring. And I, and I want to provide you all those examples in order to uh, show you uh, the real difference that is made uh, by individuals just like you, the viewer. So uh, I will, in a moment, I'm going to share a screen and just show you um, uh, what it is that, that other people are doing and uh, just the inspiration that they can be. So I'll get to that in one second. So basically, I want to show you, I've shown you uh, Claire, da Claire Daly from Ireland who uh, wore a, a, a free Julian Assange t-shirt to, uh, to Parliament. And so that was a great way of, uh, of getting attention on the issue and was a great show of solidarity. And, and, and shows of solidarity like that often go unnoticed, obviously, by the mainstream press, which is trying to defame Julian Assange constantly. So I wanted to also share with you all the um, Twitter account of uh, Quinn Peterson because they were awesome enough to make bookmarks and canvas them inside of bookstores. And I don't know if you can see uh, this image clearly enough on, on your version of, of my screen, but basically they have made the most beautiful uh, graphics and, and bookmarks and leaflets in order to hand out to businesses. And that is an example of on the ground um, creativity in sh uh, showing support and, uh, and, and, and solidarity with Assange in ways that, you know, uh, I emphasize this so often during the stream, but seriously, uh, you must be creative in the way that you go about your the shows of solidarity. Try as much as you can to think outside the box. And so, uh, you know, obviously Quinn has, has used their tool set, the, the uh, methods that they have available in order to make a difference. And so that is exactly what I encourage everyone else to do. And it doesn't have to be the way that Quinn Peterson does. Or it, and it, it, as we um, discussed uh, yesterday with Kieran O'Reilly, it doesn't have to be standing out on the street if that is not your forte or it's not something you're comfortable with. Whatever you're comfortable with is what you should be doing. And if you have a talent, uh, you know, a passion, a hobby, try and rework that into a, a method of support for Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. And so uh, I am unsure as to what our schedule is going to be in the near future. So as we just sort of freestyle this for a few minutes while we get this all sorted out, um, I will continue to show you guys some examples of solidarity. And, and I actually, um, I, I know we, we were just discussing Kieran, or, uh, Kieran, and I want to be able, I want to show you all just one image of, of, a, of this free Assange banner that uh, Kieran and his, uh, and, and the, the Wise Up Action uh, Solidarity Group, the constant long-term vigil supporters of Julian Assange have put together. And just to show you all, it's it just, it to me, it's just inspiring. And that's why I wanted to show it to you all. So basically, this is not a picture of the group. It is just the street and the banner in, you know, like late spring afternoon. And I just wanted to show this because it's just simple, small things that may not seem like a lot to us or to you when you do it, but it makes a massive, massive difference. And I thought it was really valuable earlier when we discussed on the stream the fact that it only takes 3% of the population, as long as they get a mass consensus, to push an issue to the point that it is unstoppable. I mean, that was a, an amazing, incredible statistic that we were given on that. And so I feel like, um, please do understand that whether it's the difference your voice makes in building a consensus to free Julian and to reconnect him, or whether it's uh, your the importance of your voice writing to Julian Assange, with, which both uh, John Kiriakou and Kieran O'Reilly emphasized as people who had been imprisoned uh, themselves, the importance of letter writing campaigns and, uh, and, and the letters that they received in buoying their own spirits to get through 
their confinement. And so I think that we have to understand the power of our own voice and not leave it, not, don't leave it to me. Don't leave it to the vigil panelists. Don't leave it to Susie Dawson and .com to do everything uh, and, and to, to make this difference. You all, the viewers, are the real movers and shakers of whatever uh, support develops for Wikileaks and Julian Assange. It is up to you, the viewer, to enact that support and to actually build a movement against the persecution of a political prisoner. So with that said, I'm going to be gone for another minute.